Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to make a very, very simple sign or a 3D in world widget, whichever you want to call it. But this method can be used to make street signs, it can be used to make those dangling signs on the side, on the front of taverns and buildings. This method gives you a lot of easy ways of interfacing it with the rest of your project or your game. It also um, is fairly lightweight. There is a there is a 3D text renderer in Unreal, but it's not as not as efficient. And if you start bringing in a lot of instances, particularly something if you if you're going to change it frequently, um, you can start get serious performance issues. But with this, you can bring in quite a few before you start to have issues. So. To start off with, we're going to put this in a directory of its own. Call it sign. And then what we're going to do is we're going to create a couple of things. One is the blueprint actor, which we're going to call sign. We need a interface, blueprint interface. So we're going to call it sign interface. And then what we're also going to do is we're going to create a widget, which is the user interface and then widget blueprint. User widget. Which we're going to call sign text. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with the sign interface because there's two separate things that we do need to do in there. First things first, we'll create the function that does set text, set sign text, we'll call it. Down here under inputs, text, and we're going to make it a string. We can make it a name just to save on converting node thing, but I always go with text. So we'll sign it with string, so. Okay, so now what we're going to do, we're going to go to the blueprint, the, the sign text widget blueprint. First thing we're going to do is drag in a border, and then we're going to drag in a te text thing, which you can't see because they're both the same colour. So, moving over here. We're going to go color and opacity, and we're just going to change it to black just by dragging this down. So far, so good. And what we're going to do is we're going to That's all there. Ah, oh, is variable. Let's call it sign text. Text just to separate things out. File and save. And then we're going to go to the graph. We're going to go to class settings. And we're going to go to implemented interface. And we're going to enable that the sign interface that we made before in here we've got set sign text we want to use that to set our text in this so we're going to drag from there and we're going to do set text and under widget you want the set text node and we just hook that all up. And everything's good there. That should be all we need there. So we're going to go back out to this content browser. And we're going to go to sign the, uh, the actor that holds this thing. Now, 
orientation gets a little funny. So we're going to do is we're going to add a widget. We're going to select it down here. And we're going to go to, where is it, widget class. There we go, widget class. And there's our sign text. Now it's a bit, displays on a bit of a funny one. So what we want to do, there's a few, th there's a few things you can do around here too. What we're going to do though is we're going to rotate it. relative to the world. Now you've got draw size, which lets you set the size of the widget on how it draws. That's kind of handy. If you're going to do that, set it to uh, draw at desired size. So when you bring in a cube or whatever object you're going to mount this thing in behind if you do such a thing then yeah you've got you've got a scale that's not going to change okay so close that file now what we're going to do is we're going to go into the event graph and on begin play, we're going to grab the widget. Let's just move this up here. Okay. Now, you, we could just run the set sign text the thing is it's not actually going to work because when this starts up the reference here isn't actually at doesn't actually reflect what happens at runtime so what we actually need to do here is get user widget object and this will return the actual object reference that we really need and this is where we can do set sign text now ideally what we want to do or what I do is that you use the actor tags and you put whatever you want the text to be in the actual actor tags so get tags get copy in this case we'll get zero and we're just going to put that there and then there we go so when it starts up so when project starts up it'll go through here it'll set the it'll call the set sign text on the widget that you've got in there under here which will and it'll fire here and it'll just set the text on that text box so so now what we're going to do we're going to save everything and then we're going to bring in our sign which is there You know, in develop in the in this part, it'll still say text block because that's the default of what's there. Just put it against this wall.
Now, we haven't set the tags yet. So it's to none. So we're going to do... I'd love to get a solution to this problem. I, I've changed some setting to... I don't know what I've done there, but yeah. So we go to that. We go straight. We just we actually just click for it. So it says none by default. So sign text. And there you go. A nice, easy way of making a simple sign in Unreal Engine. And you can do quite, quite a lot with this. It can also be tied in with the with the buttons I've done previously. And you can also do things like put buttons on this widget and actually have this widget to be completely interactable as well. So that's part one. Uh, if you like what you see, like and subscribe.